Guys, the second BSC was surprised when uh, one of the Ifa priests that came to the palace for the New Year festival uh, celebration revealed that all these oloris that they are hashing a serious evil plan against Queen Naomi. But the reason she have, he have come to meet Kabiesi, to let Kabiesi know, is not because of the plan they are hashing, but to let Kabiesi know that Ifa himself have uh, sent him to Kabiesi to let these uh, women know that if they did not stop that plan, that that plan is going to consume them. Because the gods who are just watching them all this while, not because they don't know what to do. And this time around, that the gods are going to show them a sign that they will know that the gods are with Queen Naomi. And for that reason, Queen Naomi is the chosen one. And anyone that is fighting the one whom gods have chosen, that they are fighting the gods. That the man, uh, they said the far priest told Kabiesi that the reason he is delivering this message is because the gods will be angry with him if he stays here and at the end of the festival he goes back to wherever he was coming from without letting Kabiesi know all of this. That these people, as in the Oloris, that they are hashing a serious evil plan against Queen Naomi. That they should stay away from Queen Naomi if they don't want to use their hands to ruin their, their life, their own lives, because it is not going to end well. They said if a priest told Kabiesi that it is not going to end well with this Oloris. But the reason for this revelation is for them to know that the gods are aware of that plans, and the gods have uh, sent this if a priest to let them know that. If they go ahead with that plan, that the plan is going to consume them one after the other. That uh, ear, uh, uh, he who let who have ear, let him hear. Hmm. The second base was surprised. Kabisi was like, so these women have not rest. Hmm? So even to the point that they now all join force together. But before now we have heard that they have been working in group in pairs just to achieve the same goal of not allowing Queen Naomi to come into the palace. But Kabiesi is more wise and brilliant than all of them. <laughs> Kabiesi have shown them that he is the man and they are just women. Because no matter how great a woman thinks that she is, uh, when a man acts, he will know the difference, you know? So this is far is telling Kabiesi, if there's any way he will talk to the wives to listen that he should go ahead and talk to them so that they will know that their evil plans have been reviewed by the gods and that the gods are angry with them that if they go ahead to carry out that evil plan that it is going to backfire and this evil plan is to set Queen Naomi up but it is going to backfire because it is not going to work that the gods are with Queen Naomi the gods are always there for her to protect her because she is the chosen one and they said this man told Kabiesi to warn these women that i don't know why they will be fighting queen naomi that queen naomi is not a troublesome person queen naomi is not a troublesome person someone that looks for their trouble but instead they are the ones who is fighting who does not fight them or who is not fighting them that queen naomi is not denying or taking away anything from them that they should focus on the marriage that they came to the palace to marry and stop fighting with Naomi. They said the far priest told Kabiesi to hold their ears, hold their ears, draw their ears and say it louder so that they will hear. So that when the calamity will befall them, they will not say that nobody warned them. That this is the last warning. They said the if a priest told them, told Kabiesi that this is going to be the last warning for the Oloris. That if they refuse to listen, whatever they see during the course of planning that evil against Queen Naomi, that they should take it in good faith. Yeah. <laughs> see, to me, oh, let me tell you the truth. I am not worried. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. And I am not worried, too. I believe that God of Queen Naomi is greater than them all. And I do know that even if they pretend 
that all is well and keep quiet for now that a time in the future that they are going to be fighting Queen Naomi. Mm -hmm. It is very clear to me until maybe one of them will buy or two buy as a result of their fight against Queen Naomi. Maybe others might learn from that and the rest. But you see that envy and greediness, it will always be there. Whether they are still fighting against Konami or not, that spirit of envy and spirit of jealousy and greed that they have towards her, it can never depart from them. <laughs> yes, because that is, that is how they, they see Konami as their rival, someone who is taking what belongs to them. But if there's anyone who should feel that way, it should be Queen Naomi. Because these people took away her marriage. They took away her happiness. They took away her husband. They made her stay outside her uh, palace for two, um, two years plus. If there's anyone who should be angry here, it should be Queen Naomi. And yet, Queen Naomi is not angry. Queen Naomi is just minding her business staying on her own, not disturbing any one of them. The only thing is that she doesn't want their friendship. She doesn't want their relationship. And that is because she did not see them as a co-wife. Mm -hmm. She has made it clear that she got married to KBC and KBC alone. All this other concubine turned Oluris, that they are KBC's side chick. Mm. And revelations have made it, as in prophecies have been coming and coming that they are going to be living the same way they entered. The only thing we pray is for life. <laughs> we'll be alive to witness all of them. Yes, so, because as long as they will not concentrate on the marriage that brought them to the palace and find a way to make KBC to fall for them or like them, if they focus on fighting with Naomi, God of Naomi is going to shame them, put them to shame more seriously, because it is obvious that Naomi have a bigger God. Mm -hmm. She have a God that is greater than all other gods. She have a God that that is greater than all the gods of this uh, Oluris. Yes, and for that reason, at a time like this, God will always prove himself in the life of Queen Naomi, of which he has started doing it. Because right now, Queen Naomi is in the palace. Left for the Oluris, they wouldn't have allowed that to happen. And not just being in the palace, they said, the royal manor where she is occupying, <laughs> it is entering the eyes of the Oloris. But my own is this, if it is entering their eyes, let them close it. Mm -hmm. So that they will not use their hand and bring problem upon themselves. They said the Fabrice have won KBC to warn the Oloris that that evil plan that they are hashing, they better dismiss it or else. It is going to consume them. You know, my own is the same mat that they left for Quenami. Let them sleep on it. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share this video. Always remember that I love you. Bye.